So in today's video, we're going to talk about the Montana housing market and if it compares to what they're telling you on the news. And I have some numbers that I'm going to show you that may not match up to what you're seeing every night when you watch the news. So let's take a look. I'm sure you have all been watching the news and seen the news about all the doom and gloom they're predicting and the markets crashing all over the country. Well, I got some numbers from Northwest Montana and some land numbers from around Montana so we can actually see if the market is crashing here or what exactly is going on. So here are the numbers for Flathead County. Uh, for new listings, year, these are year-to-date numbers through the end of September of this year. Uh, right now there are 1,692 new listings this year and that's down six and a half, six point six percent from last year. Uh, pending sales are also down. Uh, they're at 1,071 from 1,400 last year and closed sales are also down. Uh, they're at 1,072 from 1,400 last year as well and that's a 23.8% drop. The median sales price has gone up to $672,500 from $559 last year. That's a 20% increase. And the average sales price has gone up to $905,811 from $800,574 and that's a 13% increase from last year. And But the one thing that does show up is the percent of list price received has gone down to 99.5%. So what this says is that there's still demand, but the there it is definitely slowing down, and obviously that's because of the interest rates and the, the current economy, but there is still definitely demand. So if you look at the condos in Flathead County, kind of the same story. The new listings has gone down 13%. The pending sales is at 287, uh, and pending sales are what's already under contract, uh, and that's down 39%. The closed sales have gone down 38%, and the days on market has gone way up uh, from 44 days on the market to 127 days on the market. So that definitely shows you things are slowing down, but the prices have gone up. Uh, from uh, the median sales price is 524500 that's 32 percent increase from last year and the average sales price is 646 which is a 29 percent increase from last year but same thing the percent of list price received has actually dropped so what this says overall is that the prices are coming down a little bit but there's still definitely demand and you know the the prices are still holding uh, a lot higher than they were one year ago at this time. So here are the numbers for Missoula. So the Missoula numbers are similar to the Flathead numbers. Uh, Missoula has 864 new listings year to date and that's nine percent down from last year. Their pending sales are down 18 percent. The closed sales are down 15 and a half percent and the days on market have gone way up even further in Missoula from 26 average days on market last year at this time to 62 days on market. Uh, the median sales price has increased up to 555 and the average sales price has also increased up to 637 but the percent of list price received has also gone down so it's the same story. There's still demand but the you know things are slowing down because of the interest rates and uh, things will sell if they're priced properly. Condos, as you can see, same story. Uh, new listings, pending sales, and closed sales are all down. And the days on market for condos is also way up from 28 to 75. And the prices, uh, median and average, have both gone up. 21% uh, and 28%. And the, the actually in condos in Missoula, uh, the 
percent of list price received is actually higher uh, there must be a lower supply of condos or a higher demand for condos down in Missoula and that would explain this. I also pulled up some numbers from Montana Land Source for the prices of big parcels around Montana. These are all over 200 acres. So here's the large land sales that I talked about and interesting numbers here. You'll see the median sale price per acre uh, has gone down 12%. It was $1,722 an acre last year and it's actually dropped to $1,535 per acre this year. And the days on market, <laughs> because of the price drop, these, are, these numbers are kind of opposite of uh, the residential sector, but the days on market were higher last year at $349 and that now it's only $257. But remember, these are all pieces of property that are 200 acres and greater and all across Montana. So the question is, how do you deal with this market as a seller? Well, it's all about pricing. You just have to remember it's not last year anymore. And because of the interest rates and the economy slowing down, you have to price it more competitively. And if you're in the mindset of, oh, my neighbor got a million dollars for his house last year, that's what mine should be worth. It doesn't work like that anymore. Uh, we haven't seen huge price drops here yet, but we are seeing some price drops. And the ones we're seeing, the bigger price drops are the ones that are the people that are kind of trying to win the lottery, that are trying to get the same amount as people got last year. And they're realizing that because of the interest rates, buyers have had their buying power almost cut in half. And so if you're in a kind of a hurry to sell your house, you're gonna to have to price it competitively. You're still gonna end up making money if you bought it before the whole pandemic thing. Uh, you just can't be greedy and you can't expect to get what people were getting a year ago right now. There's still definitely demand, but you just have to price your house properly. And if you do that, you will sell it. So how will this affect you as a buyer? Well, the good news is that homeowners are now starting to realize they have to uh, offer more concessions than they did a year ago. So we're seeing a lot more homes or sellers that will agree to uh, sale of your home contingency. We're seeing sellers that are offering up closing costs. We're seeing sellers that are offering longer closings. Uh, it's totally different from a year ago, so that's good news for buyers. The bad news for buyers, as we talked about, are the interest rates are a lot higher, and so your uh, buying power has definitely dropped. So one of the things that you can do now as a buyer is lenders are now offering programs where you can ask for buyer concessions where they'll put up an amount of money and it will buy down the points so your interest rate won't be as high. There's other programs that you need to be careful of where they'll do a lower rate the first two years and then it'll go up to the current high rate that it is now. The chance you're taking there is that you have to be very disciplined and I would not suggest this type of loan for a lot of people because yeah, the first year you're gonna save a bunch of money on your payment, but you'll have to keep in mind that in the third year, it's gonna go up to the highest amount. The good news is that unlike 2008, you have to be approved for the higher rate, so they're not gonna be giving out loans to people that can't actually afford them. But with that being said, as a buyer, you have to be very disciplined and make sure that you save that extra money uh, and be ready for year three when the rate goes up to what it is now. As far as seller concessions and buying down the rate, there are a lot of rules and if you get a hold of us, we'll help out and we'll put you in touch with the people that can answer these specifically, but there are only certain amounts of money that can be used as a seller concession. They can't give, you know, buy down your points down to what the rates used to be. Uh, and it, there's a whole bunch of different variables. So if you want more information on that, let us know and we can point you in the right direction. But like I said, the good news is that sellers are a lot more willing to offer up concessions, maybe even uh, 
offer up a you know wait until your house sells kind of contingency so there's a lot of new things now as a buyer that you have going for you the bad news is that the interest rates are just a lot higher than they were a year ago so that's one thing you'll have to figure out but there's workarounds like we talked about and if you would like to talk more about it let us know thank you for watching our video Please call, text, or email for more information, and don't forget to watch our other videos about Montana.